Well, hi, friends. Hi. <laughs> we've, got, we've got big news to discuss. Big news to discuss. So we talked a couple weeks ago, thought maybe something was happening, and it totally was, right? You knew in that moment that you were having a baby and didn't tell me. Bryce, you yes. knew. You knew. He knew something. Yeah, Bryce knew something was up. Yes, we knew. For my 30th birthday, I had the best gift given to me. My body also helped out too. Um, I am pregnant. Yeah! <laughs> During her pregnancy, more so than like, let's say somebody else's pregnancy where, you know, you're just excited and you can't wait. She I, had, I didn't have that She experience. had She had like three times where she was bleeding and we rushed to the emergency room because we were worried and obviously thought that maybe the worst might have come. Lala was on bed rest for about six weeks, right? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, scary start, but now you're in. But now happy. But now we're in the now happy we're times. Happy. Yeah. <laughs> Can you walk me through how you found out and then how you broke the news to Randall that you were uh, pregnant? <laughs> Yeah, we we were in North Carolina and we had Where just were we at? At Randall's favorite place ever, which is his childhood camp. He's Camp such, Highlander. He's such a dweeb. We had just been in Florida and my mom kept saying to me, I feel like you're pregnant because I was just like there was just something that felt different about me, I guess. So while he was out one day, it was just myself and Riley at home. And I was like, should I take this test, Ryan? And she was like, if it's for your health, you got to take it. So <laughs> I took the test and I looked at her and was like, Rye, do you know what this means? This means that Lala's going to have a baby. And she like sprung up. She was like, we got to tell my dad right now. <laughs> I'm going to say, Lala, hand the thingy. That's what you're going to do? Yeah, I'm gonna say him the thingy so they don't know what it is. I wish I could say that it was like this big elaborate thing that I did for him to tell him that he was gonna be a dad to my child. Our but child, it's our. our child. First I was like, you did it without me, but then I was like, couldn't believe we're having a baby. I'm very excited. And then her mom came and my old came and then everybody found out. So your mom was there, what was your mom's reaction? Other than crying. Sobbing. You know, this will be my mom's, you know, first grandbaby from a biological child. So I think, and now that it's a girl, you know, we're just, we're already planning like girl trips and how we're going to dress her. And we're just so excited. We're so corny. I loved you sharing on the podcast that you kind of grew up in this little pod of moms and daughters and you get to have that. The pregnancy pact was real. I it know. was real. I mean, was it really real or was it just like kismet that it all happened? No, it was very much, and it sounds so cheesy, but I have always been hell bent on having my children grow up the way that I did. And so, you know, when Stasi first found out that she was pregnant, I'm talking to her and she, she smiles and says, I'm pregnant. Like y'all need to get it popping. So I called Randall, I was like, we, it doesn't matter when the wedding is happening. We are yanking this IUD out because I don't want to go make new friends so that my, my kid has friends. I would like my friends to have kids so that my kid has, you know, friends to play with that I've made for them already. So Stasi, Stasi breaks the news, I'm having a baby. And your first thought is I got to pull the IUD out. <laughs> Well, because we were planning, Randall and I, to, I had a doctor's appointment literally a week before our wedding because I was ready. Like, you know, I'm, I just turned 30. I'm, I'm ready to be a mom. So that was already in play. And then, you know, I just decided who needs a wedding before a baby? It's 2020, like whatever. There, there are no rules. <laughs> there are really no rules after 2020. No. So we know at least Two girls on the way, you and Stasi. At the gender reveal, you, you know, pink comes down and you turn to Stasi and you said, I hope they do better in life than us. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Why did you jump to that right away? You know, I think anytime you take on a role like this, you know, everything is changing for me. I have a huge responsibility now and you always want 
you know, you're the person that is gonna be your baby to do better than you did. And my goal with this baby is just to be a safe place and a supportive mama, just like I grew up with, you know? It's a judgment-free zone. <laughs> I was gonna ask you, what kind of mom do you wanna be? What kind of parent do you wanna be? Oh, I wanna be the type of mom that I guess I grew up with. My mom was very much my best friend. No conversation is off limits. We can talk about it all. Well, what do you think your dad would think about you becoming a mom? So funny that you bring that up because the reason I'm late is I was driving and I just broke down. Sorry. It's okay, baby. Um, I had a tough day. Crying about the fact that he's not here. And you would think after, you know, over two years, I would be able to think about him and not sob. I'm not quite there yet. The second I found out I was pregnant and saw that, like the first thing that came to my mind was like, wow, you know, like my dad would be so excited about this. So he'll be very missed, but I know but he's, he's, he's got my back up there. He's going to make sure I'm okay. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to say Sorry. since her father has passed the last two years of her life, clearly, at least I believe she has an angel, guardian angel, because her life in the last two years is night and day. And it does feel like having now talked to you for like the last four years, that the last two, everything it did fall into place. Yeah. So I do think your dad is, he's up there whispering in somebody's ear, I give agree. this to my girl, I'll make this happen for my girl. Yeah. I think so too. Last time we talked, this was one of the hints I had that maybe something was happening. You said, Megan Fox had offered up her services to be your doula. So is she the doula? Do we have a birth plan in place already? <laughs> <laughs> the Can I, I thought I would be the type of person where the second I found out I was pregnant, I would be like Googling things and ordering things. And honestly, I, I should be a better mom to be. I haven't looked anything up. The only thing I know is my baby is the size of a lime today. You got to see the first sonogram and all that. It seemed you shared a little bit of that. What was it like to see the baby for the first time? I was, I don't think I've ever, I didn't think I could be so in love with something that I've never met before. Wow. Like I just stare at it and I'm like, it's gonna be a little mini, Lala and Rand, like this is the more Lala, most... more Lala, because it's a girl, yeah. <laughs> but I just like I look, I have. You should see my fridge. Every time I get a new one, I have them plastered yeah, all, all over, over my kitchen. fridge, and I just stare at her. I'm like, you're the most beautiful little alien I've ever seen. <laughs> So parenting motherhood, it changes everything. That's what I hear from everybody. It changes everything. Do you think becoming a mom will change how you feel about or how you operate when it comes to reality TV? Yes, because I, it already has changed me as a person. You know, I, right now I'm in a very like delicate space and I'm very protective and I just kind of want to incubate right now and take my time to mentally and emotionally prepare. I want to make sure that my baby is, you know, living in a healthy space in my tummy until she arrives. And once she gets here, I think things will be different. I, I don't want her to have a mom that's popping off left and right and, you know, goes crazy at the flip of a dime. No. There's a lot, yeah. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of things that, that are going to change. Now, I'm not saying I, you know, won't clap back because that's just in my <laughs> DNA. <laughs> but yeah, I think I'm going to be much more delicate. I hope. I mean, she, we just she's very maternal. And I think that with now that she has this baby growing inside her, she's very, very protective and very, you know, I can already see a, a change on that side, you know, but she's still Lala <laughs> and nobody's gonna tell Lala what's up. Stassi did her big interview and I thought it was interesting that she said, even if she were given the chance to come back to Vanderpump Rules, she probably wouldn't because motherhood has made her really reevaluate stuff. So do you want to continue to do Vanderpump Rules? I know the future of the show is still up in the air, but. 
the future of the show is very much up in the air, but I think I, I need to see what next season would entail, you know, because I need to make sure that it's a healthy space for me. I, I don't get to think just about what's good for Lala and what she, how she would react to certain things. You know, I'm I'm going to be a mother. I I don't have just these kids that are someone else's kids watching me now. I have my own child looking up to me. So I, it would have to it would have to be the right situation. You know. It's a different zone now where there's Brittany and I are becoming moms. I just don't see me walking into Sarah clapping back at Danica for serving me the wrong meal. You know, <laughs> it's a lot is going to change. It sounds like where you're sitting now, you're going to wait till there's a go. Talk to the people who are in charge to figure out what's the game plan here. What's the show going to look like moving forward and make your decision then. Yes, exactly. That's a very good That's one. That's the game plan, which is so crazy because for me, I I never look at things and think like, I'm just going to sit back and take a beat. Yeah. I'm a reactor. Yeah. So this new uh, girl inside of me, my baby, <laughs> is has changed me in the sense where if I get an email I don't like, I take a beat. If I think something may not fit, I take a beat. So <laughs> that's changed too. <laughs> wow. Already Lots of change for you. I'm so, I'm so grown, Bryce. On the podcast too, you guys started throwing around names. And Randall, were you serious with the name Cloud? Is Cloud really a name you guys are considering? Great name. I think it's original. He loved bro. Cloud and Spotlight for real. I was like, bro. Spotlight, I went a little off. Cloud is a good Randall, day. For the rest of this kid's life, the first day of school, teachers taking attendance. Cloud Emmett, are you here? Cloud? Cloud. I think, very I think we're just setting her up to be a stoner. <laughs> no, okay, I'm going to be honest, whether Lala likes it or not. Lala and I have already agreed on a name. The one that she loved the most after she had gone through an extensive list, I didn't even flinch. I was like, money in the bank. That's it. Let's do it. Aww. So her name is money in the bank. No, <laughs> <laughs> no it's a beautiful That'd name. Be awesome. and, and when she's ready, she'll... Tell everybody. 